everyone my name is parvati prem and i am a student of sri vaishno vidyapeeth vishwavidyalaya today i am here to present on the topic collection of leprint from a suspect study of leprint is known as keloscopy a leprint also known as a lip impression is a pattern of lines and grooves that naturally occur on the surface of a person's lips uh, similar to fingerprints leprints are unique to each individual these patterns are formed by the arrangement of skin ridges and furrows on the lips uh lip prints can be visible or latent meaning that they can be directly uh, seen or require certain techniques like uh, dusting with powder or applying lipstick and pressing onto a paper to make them visible in forensic science lip prints can be analyzed through keloscopy uh, to aid in identifying individuals especially in cases where other forms of identification are unavailable or inconclusive then moving on to the practical section we can see how lip prints are collected from a suspect ensure that the suspect's lips are clean and free of any foreign substance such as food or lipstick apply a thin layer of lipstick or lip gloss evenly onto the suspect's lip using a disposable applicator or a cotton swab ensure that the lips are fully covered When the lipstick is applied, gently press the suspect's lips into a clean white paper or a card, making sure to apply even pressure a few seconds to transfer the lip print onto the surface. If necessary, repeat the process to obtain multiple lip prints for analysis and comparison. Once the lip print has been obtained from the suspect it should be carefully preserved and documented for further analysis the lip print can be examined using keloscopy techniques to classify its patterns which can then be compared to lip prints found at the crime scene according to suchihasi classification system he classified lip prints into six main types we can see the types in this picture uh, type 1 is long vertical that is features are very long they are the straight grooves running vertically across the lips and the type 2 consists of very shorter vertical grooves sometimes intersecting with each other then the type 2 uh, it displays a grooves that branched out from a central point uh, that is uh, branched or it resembling like a tree like pattern then the type 3 is uh, it shows intersecting grooves it forms a uh, grid like pattern or it intersects with each other then the type 4 is characterized by irregular or indefinite grooves that do not fit in, into other categories to preserve the lip print cut a piece of clear adhesive tape and carefully press the adhesive tape onto the print ensuring that it covers the entire area. now store it in a very secured location such as a sealed bag or container so that's all about our topic thank you